In this video we will look at the recently beatified blessed Michael McGivney, the holy priest and founder of the Knights of Columbus. Father McGivney was the son of Irish immigrants and is considered by many a model priest with a penetrating vision and a burning desire to lead his flock to holiness. The Knights of Columbus began as a small idea for his parishioners, but it quickly spread across the nation. Father McGivney's vision is still transforming people's lives throughout the world. His vision in 1882 has expanded immensely, and today there's more than 2 million men who belong to this organization around the world. Originally Father McGivney had intended this program for his parish alone, but quickly other priests recognized the value of what he had created, and other councils started growing outside of the Connecticut area. The social setting in Connecticut when he was growing up was outright hostile toward Catholics. Catholic immigrants were at the very bottom of the social ladder and faced constant discrimination for their lack of education, poverty, and for the stigma of holding greater allegiance to the Pope than to the President. In people's eyes, they couldn't be both Catholic and American. Growing up in this environment and being the first of 13 children, Father McGivney left for seminary at the age of 16, but his father's death would soon force him to return home to provide for his family. The time he spent working left a deep mark in the young man that would later bear fruit in his priestly ministry. From his first years as a priest, Father McGivney sought to make the church the center of community life for families. He organized outings for youth and baseball games. He also visited the imprisoned and was beloved by the prison guards. His close contact with his parishioners helped him better understand the constant challenges they faced daily. He was a very compassionate and understanding priest. One such difficulty came when the man of the family, who was often the sole provider, died, a common occurrence due to the nature of immigrants' hard manual work. The family would lose everything, and unless the widow could prove that she had enough financial resources, the state would take her children and place them in institutional homes. Care for widows would thus become an essential part of the Knights of Columbus. When the young priest founded the Knights of Columbus in 1882, he envisioned a brotherhood that would lead its members to Christ and help them provide for their families spiritually and materially. He wanted to keep families Catholic. The Knights organization was named for Christopher Columbus, the most celebrated Catholic figure at the time, and one whose name would help make the case that Catholics could be good American citizens as well. The four principles of the Knights thus became charity, unity, fraternity and later patriotism. Father McKivney's journey would end at the early age of 38, after a serious case of pneumonia during the pandemic of 1889 and 1890, but his legacy would endure. Pope, Benedict XVI considered Father McGivney a key figure in the impressive growth of the Church in the United States stating, we need but think of the remarkable accomplishment of that exemplary American priest, the Venerable Michael McGivney, whose vision and zeal led to the establishment of the Knights of Columbus. On May 26, 2020, Pope Francis approved a decree for a miracle attributed to his intercession, allowing Father McGivney to be beatified. A second approved miracle is needed for him to be canonized as a saint of the Catholic Church. We can pray through his intercession that the Catholic Church continues to grow and lead families to sanctity and service all over the world. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Blessed Michael McGivney, pray for us.